You may know me as Jonathan, that guy who always studies, that guy who ran for student council president for two straight years, or that guy who sang off key at Christmas, or that guy who was at the bottom of that pile during the week of walls to be Now that I'm graduating, what I want to say is that, from my experience, having taken nearly all the APs offered at this pulling all nighters to finish assignments, and skipping lunch for weeks to do projects, I can firmly say that there's more to life than that. Yes, good grades get you into a good college, which gets you a good job, which in turn gets you happiness. However, I'd encourage you to do just these two things. Firstly, I encourage you to take a step back and enjoy the view that is outside of the system created by society. That's the exact same reason I joined many sports, for example. It wasn't to pad my resume with activities. It was to have a genuine laugh with my friends while playing. Enjoy the little things in life, because one day you'll realize that they were big things. Two, I encourage you to question Seriously, truth is subjective. Money is just a value you put on you. And most of what society pressures you to do is optional. It is when you do the thing that humans do best, that is, to think, that you will discover what's meaningful to you. And to live life with me, not just misery from a dead end job or fleeting happiness from temporary things, especially that. Guaranteed. I'm grateful to the teachers, and adults, as well as friends who have been by my side throughout this journey. I hope you all find the things you're searching for and achieve the things you're working for. Goodbye, Paula, and peace out. I had uh, John and Jonathan in my class this year, both very capable young men, very talented in their own ways, different, but talented and intelligent. It's been a pleasure to teach them. It was nice to see how they blossom as young programmers, getting to do things different and new, and that was my, my intention, to expose them to something new, something different. I hope they will be able to use these skills or at least to that they've been able to explore something new and see whether it's for them. Um, I wish them all the best as they move on and we do hope they will come back to see us someday. It's been a very short year with, with the COVID-19 and we've missed a lot of personal interaction but it would be great to have them back on campus to come and say hello and just to see us. We really need to miss them. I just hope that they can do with their lives what they really want to do and achieve what they want and what they're passionate about. I wish them luck in every step of the way. And uh, yeah, I mean, I also remember the day John was in time to class and the smile on his face and how it made him happy and made me happy. And we miss these moments and we hope that we have them here again to just come and say hello and to maybe make up a little bit for all this time we've lost. All the best and take care. A lot of success for you. Okay. Well guys, you made it. And I know some of you did not believe it was going to happen, but I knew it would. And it's been a great time to be with you. I mean, three years ago, um, you changed my life. That psychology degree that had been sitting there in mothballs for, oh gosh, 40 years, finally got pulled out and used again. You've taught me an awful lot. And I'm going to miss you. And I just want you to know that if you need anything, anything at all, not money, um, but if anything other than money, get in touch with me. Don't lose contact. Because it's very important for me to know how you're doing in life. Take care. There is nothing more rewarding to me than having the opportunity to watch all of you learn and grow over the last few years. You all are so amazing and the big, with the biggest hearts and the greatest personalities. Your future is so bright and you can do anything 
you set your mind to. I will always remember how attentive you all were. All of you will always hold a special place in my memories and heart. The hard work is not over. It's just a break as you enter your next adventure in university. Today is a milestone. It tells you how far you have come. Keep learning, keep trying, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing on through your journey. I know you will succeed in all that you do with your continued effort and resilience. Remember to make good choices in life, and you will have good consequences. Congratulations to you all. Bye bye bye. It is truly an honor for me to be part of your educational journey here in Bali. The very first time I entered your class in 2018, I've already felt the warm welcome from you. I was happy to see you very dedicated and enthusiastic in everything we do in the class. One of the best memories for me is the role play and the skit that you've done in a funny way. Everything did their best, and it's something that I will treasure. In everything you do when you go to college and beyond, please make sure to apply all the life skills that you learn in PSH. It will make you the best person in whatever situation. So I would advise you to always put your best foot forward in any endeavor that you will undertake in the future. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Dear grade 12, congratulations on your graduation. Um, this was a, a great year for me. It was my first year teaching high school here at Talun. And uh, you know, uh, even though I had been here last year uh, where I was working with the elementary students, I didn't get much chance to interact with the high school students. I was a little bit nervous coming into the year. I taught, I I'd mentored students in economics before at my previous school, but I never actually taught the class. But you guys made it really easy for me and really enjoyable, and I thank you for that. Uh, if I had to pick one memory, I would have to say, um, you know, it was difficult with our class with only four students to do the simulations and the activities that I wanted to do to demonstrate the concepts of economics. And so, so uh, in the first uh, half of the year, we had an exercise where we did a market simulation with the grade six. And uh, the grade six spent the class before training how to do it, and they were all really excited. And, you guys were a little bit reluctant at first to be doing an activity with the grade six, but um, it ended up being quite a, an enjoyable experience with lots of energy and lots of noise and even teachers and students were coming by from other classes to see if they could join in because it was such a boisterous event. So that was one event that I really remembered from this year. Uh, some advice to give you guys. Um, I guess my first advice is um, Senioritis, although a real thing, is not really about being a senior. It's about not having your priorities straight and just graduating is not going to make it go away. Um, so you have to find something that does. You have to decide why is it that I've decided to go to university, what are my goals in life and how am I going to achieve those goals. Because if you were not doing your work, if you were not focusing on your studies, if you were not going to bed and getting the sleep that you needed, when you had parents and teachers haranguing you to do that, it's going to be even more difficult when you're at university alone. Um, now that being said, I still think that you need to enjoy your life, just make it metered enjoyment of your life. You know, make sure that you schedule, make school your routine, make school not a choice, a routine, it's part of your daily activity, plan it out. Make sure that you schedule more than enough time than you think you need for studying because you're going to need more than you think that you need. But also go out and enjoy yourselves. I think that that's important. Um, also, I think, yeah, if I can give one more piece of advice, it's that you should join three clubs next year uh, when you start school. You should choose one that has to do with your major, one that has to do with um, community service of some sort, um, uh, I think both of those first two will help you network, it will help you uh, meet the right people, learn about the career that you want to go into. And then your third activity should be something just that you enjoy. If you love basketball but you aren't good enough to play, uh, you know, 
Division A basketball, then you know, uh, you, you know, you don't have to play in the NCAA. You can play intramural basketball. You can dance. You can do photography. Find something that you like and do it. It will make your life easier to manage, and it will help you make the right connections and meet the right people and make your university life successful. So again, congratulations on your graduation and good luck next year, guys. Good morning, everyone. I'm Teacher Diti Peso, your arts and craft teacher. We have been studying together for a few years ago, and thank you for being with us together as a talent team. First of all, I'd like to congratulate all of the students here for finally graduating. You all are my very first graduate students uh, of my life, and I have also learned many things from you. I feel that I'm blessed whenever you are in my art class. The happiest moment with you all was that you participate in every year and of talent showcase. Then only we have chance to see every single one of your artistic skills, imaginative, hardworking, loving, reliable, compassionate talented and so on. So that I'm very proud of you for being of your teacher. Every end has a new beginning. Today might be the last day for some of you as a student of Taiwan, but I believe your learning will actually start from tomorrow. As for me, my university, university life was the happiest moment in my life. Uh, because I could find out new experience of uh, being adult. You will have more chance to see your whole new world when you uh, when you begin as a university student. I wish you did have a great time. Finally, congratulations once again and wish, uh, wish good luck with the future ahead. Thank you so much for uh, everyone. See you Sunday, my dearest. Thank you so much. Seniors, congratulations on being the very first graduating class at Dallin International School. In the past three years, I've had the privilege of watching you grow into amazing individuals. In your years at Dallin, you have accomplished many things. You have excelled academically, athletically, and artistically. I enjoyed your music and drama performances. Dijin, music and drama performances, dance recitals, Seeing the talent shows, you show that you are well-rounded individuals who excel in many areas. I want to thank you for a couple of things. I want to thank you for being in my AP Human Geography class. The class was difficult and there was a lot of work to do. You took that challenge, you persevered, worked hard, and scored well on your AP exams. I want to thank you for your work you have done in community service. For the past three years, at the end of a long week of studying, you've worked with students from neighboring government schools. Your fluency in English and Burmese made you the perfect students, perfect tutors for these students. You took your unique abilities and used them to make a difference. My hope for all, my, my hope for all of you is that you take the lessons that you've learned at Thailand and you continue to take on challenges that are hard, that you continue to develop your unique abilities, you continue to make a difference. My hope is that when you, as you leave that learn, you continue to make the world a better place. Congratulations, Dallin Class of 2020. It has been my privilege to be your teacher. Congratulations to the class of 2020. <clears throat> As we celebrate your completion of your time at Toulon International School in a very unusual time, this is a rite of passage. You are not more intelligent next month, but you have received a diploma from Toulon International School. And this shows that <clears throat> you have knowledge, you have a work ethic, and you finish what you started. You completed a four-year high school education program. 
So as I congratulate you on finishing Tao Long, it is really the next step in your chapter in life. You are going to continue. So what is Talon? Talon started off as an idea. It was some parents, some teachers, it was some investors that looked at affordable quality education that has a community. And in Yangon, did not see a lot of choices that existed. So, started a school. And you are the result of this vision. You are the result of the work from a lot of people over four years. So, <clears throat> as you move forward to universities, to jobs, maybe you're getting married, maybe you won't, becoming an adult, you will take with you everything you've learned at Taolon, the culture, the ethics, and as you leave the campus of Taolon, you do not leave the community. The board is proud and is also confident as you move forward to your next steps, as you find your path in life. And we trust that great things are yet to come. So I'd like to leave with some thoughts. This is actually originally from Chicago Times newspaper article and then was turned into a song by Boz Luhmann. And it's known as the Sunshine Song. So, let's start now. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2020, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proven by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Never mind. You won't understand the power and beauty of your youth until it is faded. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra problem while chewing bubble gum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your mind, the kind that blindside you at four o'clock in the afternoon on some Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts and don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss your teeth. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember the compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, please tell me how. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some very interesting 40 year olds that I know still don't know. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. I said, be kind with calcium, make it plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees, you'll miss them when they're gone. 
Maybe you'll marry, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken dance on your 40th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself, congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance and so are everybody else's. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be kind to your siblings. They're the best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but for the precious few, you should still hold on. Work hard to gab, bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. You never know. Oh, maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you have a wealthy spouse, but you never know when one might run out. Don't mess with your hair too much. By the time you're 40, you look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it in a way, fishing from the past, from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts and recycling it for more than you're worth. I'm not sure if this advice has value or not, but do trust me on the sunscreen. With that, congratulations again to the class of 2020 in the first of many graduations as you go through life on different paths. We wish you all the best.